Welcome back guys, today we're talking science. Science can do amazing things in life, but sometimes it has to experiment, and experiments can go badly, really badly. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 science experiments that went horribly wrong. Starting with number 10 now, we have David Reamer. When this Canadian man was born in 1965, he was sent to be circumcised, but the doctors experimented with an unconventional technique and ended up removing David's entire penis. Now, doctors told his parents the best solution would be to give him a sex change operation right there and then, raise him as a girl, and never let him know the truth. This ended up tearing his parents apart. And his dad told David the truth when he was 14. David then chose to get a reverse sex operation. It was a success. However, David struggled a lot with the events of his past and ended up committing suicide at just 38 years old. At number 9 now, we have the chimp baby. In the 1930s, a scientist called Winthrop Kellogg thought a chimp could grow up to be like a human if it lived alongside a human baby, his own son. For 9 months, he conducted experiments and his son Donald was inseparable from the chimp called Gua. They ate together and they played together. They noticed that Gua was picking up more and more human tendencies from Donald than ever before, but the experiment came to an abrupt halt when Donald, the human baby, began to regress and become more like a chimp. Apparently, he would just sit there howling and wailing and would struggle to pick up even basic language like a normal human baby. The experiment was stopped immediately. All right, at number eight now, we have the monster study. This 1939 experiment was conducted on 22 orphans to see how children responded to positivity and negativity when it comes to speech therapy. Half the children were praised for their efforts, while the other half were teased and belittled for their speech imperfections. Many of the children who received this negative feedback went on to suffer serious psychological damage for the rest of their lives. It was so bad that some of them could barely even speak again. The monster study got its name from its shocking experimentation on orphan children just to prove a hypothesis. Alright guys, coming in at number 7 now we have Fusco. This one was just messed up, if I'm honest. In 1962, when the CIA was absolutely obsessed with finding out the effects of LSD, they experimented on an elephant with the help of the University of Oklahoma. The elephant, called Tusco, weighed three and a half tons and was given enough LSD to make 3,000 humans hallucinate. The CIA were trying to see if they could make the elephant enter must, which is a naturally occurring state where elephants become violent and uncontrollable. The experiment was a a total disaster. Trusco almost immediately collapsed and had a seizure for almost two hours before finally dying. At number six now, we have the Stanford Prison Experiment. This psychology experiment conducted by Stanford University involved splitting 24 random students into two groups. One group were the prison guards and the others were their prisoners. This was set up for them to study how power and authority works within human groups, but it got really, really messed up. It was supposed to last two weeks, but had to be stopped after just six days because the guards began to abuse their power. They would emotionally and physically abuse the prisoners. After just the first day alone, the guards were already attacking them with fire extinguishers. Yeah. Some of them suffered serious mental and physical injuries for life. Moving on to number five now, we have the yellow fever experiment. Dr. Firth was a scientist who was trying to prove that yellow fever was not contagious and was actually due to the difference between summer and winter. Now, in an effort to prove this, he tried to infect himself with yellow fever by drinking the vomit of victims. He also injected it into his body and even poured it onto his eyes. Well, it turns out he was right about the whole seasonal thing, but for the wrong reason. It's mosquitoes that are the ones who spread yellow fever and they hibernate in the winter. So, all the vomit drinking and pouring in the eyes was for nothing. At the number 4 spot now, we have testicle radiation. In 1963, researchers offered prisoners in the Washington and Oregon area $25 to participate in reproductive radiation tests. Now, they were told they wanted to see how a normal dose of x-ray level radiation would affect a man's testicles. Instead, they hit them with about six times that amount of radiation. The prisoners, as you might expect, developed testicular cancer, they became sterile, and had many other health problems. The class action lawsuit only gave $2,000 to each of the victims. We're at the number 3 spot now, and we have TGN1412. This was the name of an experimental drug used to treat leukemia. As with most drugs for humans, it was first tested on animals to see if it was non-fatal. It wasn't. In fact, 
everything was fine with the animals. They moved on to testing the drug on humans and just to be safe they gave them a dose 500 times lower than the level found safe in animals. Six of the test subjects were hospitalized with massive organ failure. The trial was stopped and researchers started to work on why this drug was fine in the animals but almost killed six humans that it was given to. Moving on to number 2 now we have the Guatemala syphilis experiment. This experiment involved US backed Guatemalan doctors infecting soldiers, prisoners and prostitutes in Guatemala with syphilis in order to study it. They wanted to see what the effectiveness of penicillin was on syphilis except they only used penicillin on about half of the 1308 people involved in the study. At least 83 people died and 63 years later President Barack Obama apologized on behalf of the US to the Guatemalan president. And finally at number 1 now we have MK Ultra. This CIA experiment was conducted in the 50s and the 60s in an effort to see if LSD and other drugs could mind control people. They tested the drug on countless unwitting citizens, some of them weren't even American. Many of them suffered life altering mental conditions and became very unstable. Those that tried to speak out about what happened met mysterious deaths such as suspicious suicides. Not surprisingly most of the documents involved with these shocking experiments were later destroyed. Well to be honest with you that was all very disturbing and scary. I think science can be a great tool for helping humans to live a better life and understand the world around us but this video has been a reminder that it can always go wrong. Would you guys like a part 2? Give me your video suggestions down below. I'm Danny Burke, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.